And we are learning more about a 71-year-old man killed in an alleged DUI crash over the weekend in Woonsocket. Hello again, everybody. I'm Gene Valicenti. And I'm Patrice Wood. The suspect, Samuel Adams, went before a judge today facing two felony charges. NBC 10's Katie Benoit joins us live near Vernon and Maple Streets where the crash happened. Katie? Gina and Patrice, you can still see a lot of damage here where this crash happened. You can see where the grass has been ripped up, and there is also some glass here. I'm told that one of the cars actually ended up on this hill on its side. 45-year-old Samuel Adams of Woonsocket appearing in district court today. He's facing charges of DUI death resulting, first offense, and driving to endanger death resulting. Woonsocket police accuse him of causing this two-car crash Saturday night near Burnin and Maple Streets. Glass and debris still scattered. We heard the loud being. Police say 71-year-old Charles Bagley, who is in the back seat of the other car, was rushed to the hospital but died. One woman says she rushed to try to help. Two other people in the same car as Bagley had to be taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. They were working on him and they tried everything. Um, I had gotten in, gone in and got a blanket and tried to keep her warm and comforting and so that she couldn't see what was going on because she kept asking, um, is he breathing, is he breathing? NBC 10 has learned Bagley was from Pawtucket and lived in the Ark of Blackstone Valley housing, which helps individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. He's listed as a member of a group there called Citizens with Power. Yeah, that's, that's sad. They have to do something about the drunk driving and speeding. And The suspect is out on bail tonight under the condition that he can't drive. Coming up at 6 here about other drunk driving crashes across the state. Live in Woonsocket, Katie Benoit, NBC 10 News.